Hello, I'm Joe Braga with Engraver's Choice. I have made a light burn video course to go with um, my Boss laser systems, but it will work with anybody's laser system. I do not care what you bought, what you have, as long as you have light burn, this course will work for you. Now, uh, with light burn, it's going to go over some major features like print and cut, etc., flood fill, variable text input, the camera, etc. So, when we get into it, you'll go into here and you'll have this dialog screen, which means you'll be able to pop into the Lightburn course. And from the Lightburn course, you will see that it's um, several sections, six pages per section four sections per page, broken down to one subject for a three to five minute video. Now, each page will encompass that, I'll try to keep to a thought. Now, there will be videos that do not have pages. They are either command videos where I have gone into light burn and simply pulled down the menu and looked here and said uh, bowling or edit nodes or whatever and just did a video on that. They're in directories, they are numbered from top to bottom, they're indexed, they are easy to find. So as you go through the manual, you will see that the table of contents lists the, the, the command videos. With the command videos, you uh, will have also on the hand videos, 15 of those. There will actually be more of those. With the on hand videos, it's simply me either videotaping myself with the, uh, with the laser or my wife doing it for me. You also see an installation that we fi filmed. But as you go through it, you will see the, light, the general layout of the system. Now, as you go through, you'll have pre-installation the installation section, which is just the laser itself. Like I said, this applies to a Boss laser, but it'll work on anybody's laser if you have these features. Um, you will see pictures of non-Boss lasers in here. Um, it goes through the theory of lasers, how they work, how to dial materials and what power and speeds to use, how to make a positioning table, which was very useful when you're working with absolute positioning. Remember, one of the features of this is you can work absolute bishing or you can set an origin within the unit. Um, absolute position, I move it on the page, it moves, moves up within the laser. Further maintenance, troubleshooting, gets into softwares, both Corel Draw and Grave Lab. So it interfaces nicely with those. Um, talks about a default job, so it holds default. So every time you type red, if you're always cutting a certain material, will always bring up the right power and speed. Has a library, uh, has the position to hold uh, items. So if I'm working with a camera, which is very useful, or I'm working with uh, what they call print and cut, print and cut will allow you to um, go through and set up registry. So that if you have a pre-printed a sheet of on acrylic, It'll go back and cut the silhouettes out for you absolutely dead on. Uh, like I said, the camera feature is very nice. Uh, works very, very well and very adjustable. Uh, we do go back over certain things that we think are hot, like bit map rendering you'll get a lot of, photographs, 3D, the Corel Draw steps. Corel Draw steps apply to Adobe and other softwares, but it's just the most popular software, so that's the one we used. Um, we use a gray level a lot, especially with photographs, with interfacing with light burn. And then uh, you will have project videos where we'll go through and we'll make an acrylic piece or we'll do two ply plastic or long plate or make a uh, use laser bond or, or thermark. We'll give you vendor settings, uh, uh, basic project videos for plastic, for stone, for acrylic, wood. Control panel. So you can do a control panel just to do the light burn. You own the software. Uh, like I say, we list your power and speeds. These are ballpark settings, and there's libraries already made for them. Uh, keyboard overlays for the different units. Um, let me go through this 
pretty quickly. Like I say, we have a cut optimization. You have a flood fill. You have welding. Bowling wells, which are different. They're more advanced. Uh, text offsets and arcing. Variable text both from an SEV file and from an email. Uh, the camera, as I said before, uh, usability features that just make it easier to get from point A to point B. Uh, spline optimization, which means you bring in something with a crud little nodes and it's a lot of cleanup and it clean it up very quickly. The cut and print that, or the print and cut that we just mentioned. You can also focus on different levels within one job. You do have the ability to, uh, with our the HP systems, the metal to metal systems, to be able to cut uh, stainless steel and laserable brass on those particular systems and obviously do rotary. And then um, preventive maintenance for that system, dialing in metals, like I say, laser brass, which is very hot. But whatever you end up buying, um, as far as the laser goes, if you have light burn hooked to it, this course is for you. It's only $150. Give me a call today, 949-355-4000. Thank you.